The perfect instability of the moon, it's no coincidence, reinforcing, the hand that feeds law. The day is now 36 hours and starts and ends at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. in an alternating fashion. This post was sent through the 8,08 morning gate, on the 3D date 7720, the following 3 p.m. will start this new day. Simply follow this parallel around the globe until it hits your local time at 3. If you are cognizant that a new day has begun, it is customary to send love and kindness to someone. Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity 08 to Infinity Infinity U1B U1BB Infinity Infinity J5H5H5H5H5H5 5 5H5 5 5H5 5 5H5 5 5H5 5 Infinity Infinity B1 TT Infinity. Please visit us at archangelicalendar.com for more information. And please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your continued support. Gas is in a water spirit setting at the moment and if we continue to make conscious choices, she will continue to move forward. She really wishes to have our input and it seems as if this is the theme of the day is, if we face the tough choices and make our preference known, mountains will move instantly. We will continue to ask Gaia what issues she need clarification on, but I must encourage you to continue to ponder the questions we asked yesterday and the plethora of others that will pop up. To epitomize what I am referring to, yesterday was the exact day that the heart of the planet was returned to the indigenous people of the earth. It is also the exact day that the Dakota pipeline was squashed, and the next day the largest fracking company on earth went bankrupt, clearly, no one reading this finds this a coincidence. If you wish to put this in terms of prophecy, please do, it most certainly applies. We are the most powerful metaphysical force in the galaxy and when we are decisive, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. The issue is, and I refer you to again to yesterday's assignments, is that we are not being clear with what we want. We must all channel our inner philosopher, during the upcoming seasons to be most effective. Throughout all of our lunar metaphysical work, the corresponding columns in our calendar have returned to perfect alignment. This is a wonderful indication of our diligence and precision, our legions are becoming a well-oiled mechanism of the universe, kudos to the team. Moon anomalies and the planet's massive engineering changes will coincide with each other. Many people have reported noticing the moon moving forward, sideways, and backward, the magnetic and electric earth has drastically changed, and thus it is moving all over the place. It is very possible that it loses its pull altogether in the upcoming season as the poles shift but that remains to be seen. The instability the moon is displaying is the exact setting it needs to be in, and it will undoubtedly be going through a metamorphic period this season. Perfection is not a divine notion, we reflect the universe back to itself like a divine mirror, but which side is reflecting what to which. That being said, we are to commission to embody this notion of divine perfection in unusual and profound ways, as individuality truly makes up the purpose of our existence. The person in the unicorn costume, drinking pickle juice, holding an upside-down umbrella, reenacting the final episode of The Golden Girls, on a rainy day in Tuscan, is serving the universe much better than any so-called, normal person, is. This is because the divine dance is one of diverse perfection, completeness is only achieved via the individuality given to us via the totality of infinitely expanding creator source. Galactically speaking, if you non-objectively look at our history, most of it is an utter embarrassment. We have not been always been kind, honest, or forward-thinking. We have an opportunity to validate all of these things by becoming a direct conduit of infinitely expanding creator source. When you succeed with your part of the Earth's liberation, you validate all history as part of the path to realization. In order to implement the quantifiable law that allows for free will to be respected, we have disclosed a law that returns the energetic intention back to anyone who's forcing their will upon another. This is called the hand that feeds law, which makes this controlling energy backfire very rapidly. This was mostly implemented because of the vaccine agenda, but it is also useful in times like these. The earthquakes on the US military bases are not acts of nature. They are the same thing that causes the Fukushima earthquakes and the earthquakes destroying China at the moment. 
Until another government wakes up to aggressiveness of the CCP, the CCP will be increasing its sneak attacks with seismic, energetic, and technology-based weaponry and they will not discriminate with their attack targets. Wow, there are a lot of clones walking around and not just celebrities, but many among our personal lives as well. We did not receive any quantifiable timeline shifts that induced a Mandela effect, but we cannot rule out that possibility either. Today's tools. Tools will be active until the next post. Use the legend below to help you decipher how to best use today's weapons. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. It will work on its own when you accept its presence. All you need to do is give permission and it will work on your behalf. Active equals intention needed to use, aggressive equals will attack before anything has a chance to do any harm to you, beyond space and time. We have gone through great changes and thus the weapon-based tools indicated below can be inserted into the ground to call forth downloads. Active, passive and aggressive. The Violet Flame team is in a Lavender 3, setting after a long stay in the 9 setting. This is an interesting crossroads as Lavender evokes peace but the 3 setting is a heavy transmutation setting. The Violet, Lavender, Flame team is as follows, and is in no particular order, Archangel Germain, Archangel Anseel, Archangel Briathos, Archangel Emmanuel, Archangel Tubiel, Archangel Kerkeel, Archangel Dabriel. Archangel of Archangel GZ Rail, Archangel Tatrasil, Archangel Agla, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Eshma, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Abraxos, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Nuril, Archangel Galizur, Archangel Orion, Archangel Omil, Archangel Adonachil, Archangel Abastahan, Archangel Vermil, Archangel Adonai, Archangel Dikviel, Archangel Baradil, Archangel Raguel, Archangel Batkol, Archangel Machdil, and Archangel Eshma. Passive and Aggressive Archangel Shepherd's Orb is a presence of divinity that allows anyone that you are engaged with a clear path to forgiveness or a direct audience with infinitely expanding creator source on the matter. This is a truly compassionate tool of divine orchestration. Active. Archangel Zagzagal's Staff of Heavenly Might rains large crystal masses upon a targeted area. Great for large targets, works on the physical and non-physical as well. Active. Archangel Zedekiel's Staff of Justice is a tool that is best used on a macro level and can help move things along that are stagnant. It can also summon and maintain force fields for protection purposes. Passive. Archangel Vahumana's timepiece allows you to savor a positive feeling or thought. It brings an element of majesty to your everyday moments, and it prevents the interference of malevolent time travelers. Passive, active and aggressive. Archangel Chamuel's Radiant Peace allows you to be secluded in a peaceful bubble, no matter what is happening around you. It also allows those in your heart. Passive and Active Archangel Jeremy's Enhanced Intuition allows the voices of your soul to become louder. It allows the judges of spirit to be more obvious than ever before. Passive Archangel Iophil's Boutinia enhances the beauty of yourself and all that you survey. This like all passive tools must be given permission to work on your behalf. Passive. Archangel Jadotun's radiant sounds attract the most wonderful people to your life as well as enhance your surroundings with beautiful cosmic sounds. It's basically a happy enhancer. Passive. Archangel Jefferska's atmospheric bracelet brings an element of fun to your nights. Jefferska is the archangel who is in charge of gatherings, in case you are so inclined to have one, she would be the recommended party planner. Passive. Archangel Camille's headdress gives you an insight into your inner talents and abilities. Set the intention and use it right before meditation, you will not regret it. Passive. Archangel Raziel's universal key allows you access to all wisdom, knowledge, and kingdoms. This is a wonderful and wild ride that can take you anywhere. I suggest Archangel Raphael's study and Archangel Michael's crystal pyramid. Passive. Archangel Fuzz Armor of Increasing Returns will return all sentiments sent to you amplified by an unspeakable amount of times. This is the perfect tool to equip whenever you are with large groups of people, as if someone blesses you, it also works the same way it does if someone does the opposite. Today's Assignments We are still working on a macro level, and thus the format will stay consistent, please use today's current tools if you need assistance performing the tasks below. There is two giant slug-looking creatures on earth, one likes to stay on the tip of Long Island, me, and the other bounces back from Hungary to the US very often. 
Hit them with everything you got with sword and shield, and watch the many issues of Earth just magically disappear. To complete our trifecta, there is a malevolent stronghold in South Tucson, also hit this with all that you got. The bubonic plague is easily fixed with orange and emerald green flames, hold both for a 72 count. You can also use a rainbow flame just for good measure. There is more to be said about activating the natural electrical currents in the air than we can possibly articulate. This is why we will ignite these currents with electric blue sparks and allow them to spread around the globe. Simply catch one of these streams and light them up. The electricity we ignited in Egypt is ready to be harnessed, yet again do not find it a coincidence that Rebel Legion released a documentary about Egypt recently. The void rooms that are in question are control rooms located in the higher dimensions. Simply travel to the void inside of the pyramids of Giza and Egypt in general and envision the energy of the pyramids shooting out of its peak and traveling throughout the world. You can easily activate all other temples and points of power using this method, so please do not forget to do the same for Thay, Chivin the Wanter, of Peru and anything else that is calling you. Today's meditation is below, please enjoy.